Tonight, history in the making, a milestone mission for SpaceX. The first manned space mission without a professional astronaut on board. All four Americans who blasted off from Cape Canaveral tonight are everyday civilians, including a billionaire businessman. Yes, but this three-day mission is not all fun and games. The private flight that is circling Earth is going to benefit the medical research community. Roseanne Aragon is KPRC2 space reporter covering these new developments for you. She's live right side outside of Baylor College of Medicine in the Med Center tonight with more. Roseanne? This is not just a big first and a new chapter. It is a mission that hopes to expand and advance access to human spaceflight. In fact, Baylor College of Medicine is leading the health science experiments that the crew will do. Today, you are truly inspiring the world. For the first time ever. Godspeed and enjoy the ride. Non-professional astronauts made their way in style to orbit. The first ever all civilian orbital flight, SpaceX's Inspiration 4 mission, carrying groundbreaking research from Houston's own Baylor College of Medicine, studying how everyday people's bodies react to spaceflight. This private mission is a fundraising effort to raise $200 million for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, led by Shift 4 Payments founder and commander Jarek Isaacman. Each crew member represents four pillars of the mission leadership, hope, prosperity, and and generosity. Haley Arsenault, a former pediatric bone cancer patient turned physician assistant at St. Jude, represents hope. This survivor is the youngest American to reach space and first space flyer with a prosthesis. This is when I was 10 years old and going through bone cancer treatment. Mission pilot Dr. Sean Proctor represents prosperity. This was her dream and carrying her parents' jewelry with her, she hopes to make them proud. I'm excited to bring them along for this incredible, amazing journey. Then generosity. Air Force veteran and former space camp counselor Chris Zimbruski works for Lockheed Martin. He won the seat after making a donation to St. Jude. With a new cupola, resilience launched 357 miles above Earth, opening doors in many ways. That cupola looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see the views from there. This crew will spend three days orbiting the Earth at an altitude higher than the International Space Station. They'll do these experiments before splashing down back here on Earth. Reporting live from the Med Center, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Roseanne. And you can relive tonight's history-making moment by watching the launch on our website, clicktohouston.com. Now,